hello welcome to my live i brought my little moochy smoochy rocky with me because is it making your day to see such a cute puppy dog he got a haircut and he is looking so cute and so fun and so adorable right is he a cutie pie his birthday is going to be in april he'll be two what do you think you like my doggy <laughs> All right, so how can you feel better? Find anything to make you feel better. If you're manifesting a specific person, don't focus on them 24 seven. Find something that'll make your day. Even when I took my dog to the dog park, there were people there that uh, they didn't even have a dog and they're like, yeah, I just wanted to see the dogs. Like there's all kinds of things you can do to make your day better, make your day happy. All right, he doesn't wanna hang on to me. You don't wanna hang on me. <laughs> Mwah, you're so cute. All right. <clears throat> anyway, we want to talk about some manifesting. Let's talk about being a powerful manifester. We all have this within us. All you need to do is tap into it. You can intend, intend that you're tapping into this infinite power that you have inside. You tap into that infinite power. You connect with it. You listen to yourself. This is learning to go within and not going to the outside world for all the answers to everything in your life and all the problems, don't go out, right? You go within, practice going within, practice asking yourself, practice getting in touch with who you are. And what does that look like, who you are? So I'm actually, I started a group, um, a monthly coaching group, a VIP group about two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago yesterday. And we're talking, right now we're doing 30 days to your ideal self-concept. So, because we're manifesting from who we believe we are, who we think we are. So get solid on your self-concept. If you want to join the group, everything's recorded. You could watch. I've only had one session. We're gonna, going to have another <clears throat> live workshop tomorrow. I go live on Zoom six days a week right now because I'm building my group and I want to be available to everybody. But if that's something you're working on, join my group. It's going to be absolutely worth it, okay? Click the link in my bio and you can you can um, click on Shannon's VIP group. All right, let me answer some questions. Ari, how does one meditate? I feel like I'm always doing it wrong. When we feel like we're doing it wrong, it's our intention and belief behind it that actually will feel like we, you will have results that doesn't feel like you are doing it right because of that intention behind it. First of all, you can't get it wrong, but that's true. You can't get it wrong because you want to define in your life what, how everything is playing out. You can't get it wrong. Okay, you decide that. That way you're not overthinking and over worrying. Is this right? Is that right? Just decide, I'm doing this right. This is good. This is okay. So. There are infinite ways to meditate. Okay, so let's think of the intention behind the, the meditation. What was powerful for me for meditation, because I did meditate. I don't meditate as much anymore, but I did meditate in the very beginning of my journey daily, every single day, every day, at least for the first year. And I would just sit quietly for 10 minutes or lie down. I would actually lie down. I'd lie down quietly for 10 minutes. The goal of this is, so, okay, so with manifesting and deliberate creation, you need to have a disciplined mind. To have a disciplined mind, you need to be training your mind. Meditation will train your mind, okay? If you can have no thought for 10 minutes. Okay, of course you're gonna have thoughts pop up, right? The goal is, this is how you'll be powerful at not reacting to the 3D reality, because you will train your mind not to focus on that thought, but to just let that thought fly away like a cloud, right? It's just, just let it go. Don't interact with it. Let it go. Get back to the place of within you. Discipline your mind. There are other purposes of meditation. It's connecting with yourself within, learning not to go to the outside re reality and going within, right? You can do a guided meditation. My guided meditations that I have on YouTube are powerful, okay? Because not only, they, you're also reprogramming your mind because a meditation will help you get to that place where you're reprogramming your, the old stories and the old programming that you have within. Okay, so you're not doing it wrong. Just decide you're doing it right. You can do meditation. It's not like you don't feel like you have to meditate. When it comes to meditating, 
Um, it's, it's a technique. It's something you use in life to feel better. You can do walking meditations or even, I call it a meditation if I'm in a yoga class. That's a meditation. Being in the present moment, completely focused on what I'm doing, focused on my body, foc I'm focused in the present moment. I'm not having thoughts all over the place about what's going on in the world and trying to solve problems or be in a problem state, but I'm in the present moment and I'm concentrated. So look at those things you do in life if you enjoy bike riding and you're just in the moment or whatever it is that you enjoy and that's your passion. Consider that a meditation, okay? It's mindfulness, presentness, being in the present moment. Okay? I try to manifest, but they feel, <laughs> who's they? But they feel like it's going slow. Who's they, your specific person? It's, it's not going slow, you're, it's your reality. You try, so, so let's tweak a little bit what you have here going. Instead of saying, I try to manifest, but look right away, that's a, it's not working out. I try, but you need to, your causation, you're the causation of everything in your life. You're preceding the reality that you're experiencing, your imagination, you. That's preceding the, the physical reality. So instead of thinking, I'm trying, because you're the cause, you're not trying. I am manifesting. I intend to manifest. You have to be the cause to watch the effect outside of you reflect that, okay? So just tweaking it a little bit because get more confident inside. I am manifesting. This is working. Even when it's not working, you claim it's working because you're creating. If you're creating something, do you want to create? I don't know if it's working. Maybe it is. Sometimes it isn't. That's what you're creating because it's coming from you, right? I'm pointing to me, but for you, it's you and your reality. So I am manifesting. It doesn't feel like it's going slow. It's happening. There's movement. So you got to stop watching what's the reflecting back to you. That's observing the 3D reality that you don't need. Don't, don't give power to the 3D reality. Take the power within and say, I know it's all happening. It's being orchestrated. Um, sometimes I can't see it, okay? When you start to doubt and won't worry, then you say, sometimes I can't see it, but I know it's happening. It is happening. It's going faster and faster. It's moving. Okay, tips on manifesting money. Yeah, Hannah, manifesting money. Start imagining that money is coming to you. You know, money can come in infinite ways, but don't think money can only come in one way through your work, through your job. You only get a, you know, you're capped on your salary, you have to be thinking more infinitely. Infinite possibilities how money can come to you, okay? Instead of thinking lack mindset or scarcity mindset, you tap in focusing on abundance and prosperity. So you can focus on wealth, even just saying wealth, wealth, right? Or I am wealthy, wealth, prosperity. I intend wealth and prosperity come to me. Okay, it's raining money on me. You can have affirmations that will help that um, and start to build an abundance mindset because if we're looking at the outer reality and we see scarcity, now we're living in scarcity mindset. So abundance is saying there are infinite possibilities out there. There is abundance in this world. The world is abundant. There are abundance of trees. Now you have to be spending more time identifying there is abundance in the world. There's abundance of like beautiful people. There's abundance of trees and oxygen and water. There is abundance. There's abundance, okay? We're only experiencing what is part of our consciousness. What you're consciously aware of is your experience in life. So if you're consciously aware of lack of resources, then you will have a life reflecting lack of resources. So start tapping into seeing abundance. It's a practice. Okay, this is a discipline. This is having a disciplined mind. You, your job is to be focusing on the ideal picture of what you want to be experiencing. And um, yeah, how do you revise? You revise by whatever happened. Let's say there's an, a situation that took place. Let's say at work, um, you know, the job, something fell through for you at work. How do you revise that in your mind? You revise it as if you say to yourself and you revise it as if you wanted how it, you wanted it to go. Okay, you replay that narrative, the story in your mind of how you wanted it to go. Not that it fell through, but oh, it all worked out. Okay, here's the thing with revision. You have to know you're the creator. 
okay? I mean, you don't have to, but like tap into knowing you're the creator. You're the creator and everything is coming from you. So you can't, you don't want to waver back and forth. Did it happen? Didn't happen? Or did it, <laughs> did it happen? Did it not happen? Right? What really happened? No, you're the creator. It's like you're a director of your life and you're directing what happened. So what do you want to happen? You have to stick with the story and per persist in that story. Okay. You persist in the revised story. Even if the world might reflect to you still the old story, that's you have to be so firm. This is disciplined mind. Be so disciplined in your mind not to react and say, no, that's not the way it went. And look, you have to be, you want to tap into your infinite power knowing that you're the creator. Because when you know you're the creator, you know you're revising it. But if you're coming from the version of you who not sure if it works, then, then you're thinking, am I just making this up? Or um, am I just, you know, tricking myself? Okay, that's the version of you who doesn't believe in your power. And that's the version who's not necessarily going to get the results they want. So tap in to you whose infinite knowing creation's complete and it's all existing right here, right now. Uh, Santi, Santi, what if you see your SP once a week? Well, okay. I mean, you want to make good meaning behind that. So make it a good meaning. I saw we see each other once a week. That means it, okay, then what is your, what's your final desired result? Like, what do you want? So you have to look, what is your final desired result? Okay, we only see, we see each other once a week. And that is leading because our assumptions create. So that is leading into then paint the picture of your desire. Is that blah, blah. <laughs> Today, I have a hard time talking. Desired result. Okay, tap into what that looks like. Don't make it mean, see, here's what the old habit of thought is. We start looking for reasons why. Okay, maybe it has to do with our own self-concept. Oh, maybe they don't like, we only see each other once a week and maybe they don't like me. Or what are they doing? Are they with someone else? Or what, now we are making assumptions that, assumptions that are purely manifesting. Assumptions that don't, support what we want okay they're not <laughs> they're not aligning with what you want so see you have to catch yourself you need to catch yourself and realize am i assuming worst case scenario or uh, my fears and doubts am i assuming these fears and doubts if you are your fears and doubts are going to play out even if you are affirming this is working they want me but then half the time like if half the time you're affirming and half the time you're doubting because you you, you're paying too much attention to the circumstance, then yeah, hot and cold behavior. You might get a little evidence and then wonder what's going on. Okay, get wrangle your mind, wrangle your mind around. First of all, infinite, you are the creator, infinite power. All this is leading to you getting the exact desire you want. Okay, creating meaning for anything through your day is powerful. Create your, this is why when you hear anyone say, like you'll hear this like really across the board in life is like, I am in the right place. You know why that's powerful? If you decide you are in the right place, it eases that tension or anxiety within you. Okay, so decide, hey, I am in the right place. Is it necessarily exactly where you want to be? No, but you're in the right place. It's getting to you to your desire, your manifestation, your, your materialized realistic world, right? Is it Kara or Kara? Yeah. Uh, what's the best way to manifest anything? Well, you manifest anything by just changing your thoughts to focus on what you want. Okay. So go within and start to think to yourself, do I complain? Okay. Are you someone who complains or are you someone who, these are just some of the things you, you, you could easily observe, right? Complaining is easily, easy to observe. Start to notice what your beliefs are. Do you believe it's hard to, Things are hard to get. Life is hard, right? So start changing those beliefs that you hold to, hey, life can be easy. I, I see evidence out there all the time. Life can be easy, okay? So you have to remind yourself that. And just spend more time focusing on what you want, believing you can get it. So you can have an affirmation like, I always get what I want. Start affirming that now. You will have a reality that reflects that I always get what I want. Okay, but you can't affirm it and then th 
three months later say, oh, I never got that and I never got that because look, you're stopping your affirmation and you're starting to create a reality where I don't get anything. This is why you need to have the disciplined mind persisting in what you want, continuing to persist. Best way to manifest anything is actually getting into your God state. I have some videos on YouTube about that. I have a meditation about that. God state is you knowing you're in charge, in control of your reality, and you're the causation and everything's a reflection. When you know that, that's powerful. It's powerful to know that because you know whatever you outpicture, whatever you're imagining is happening. <clears throat> What's the best method to manifest acceptance? Like, do you want to feel accepted by another person or it doesn't matter what it is, honestly, um, start affirming I am accepted. Okay. Is it a specific person? My specific person accepts me. My family accepts me. I'm always supported. Start to create beliefs around that affirmations around that. It may not. So depending on your situation, maybe it's not reflecting right away. It will reflect. Okay. And when it does acknowledge it, cause you're going to build your faith, build your belief within and feel really good. Okay. So I'm accepted. I'm supported. People at work value me, right? This all is interconnected, like feeling valued, feeling accepted, feeling wanted. I am valuable. People at work see my value. I always provide great services. I go above and beyond. Like, who are you? Who is, you know, and tap into who, who you already are. Let yourself remind yourself how valuable you are. You're accepted. You're honored. You're wanted. <clears throat> All of that. <laughs> Here's what we sometimes do. How come it never works out for me? Why don't they like me? See, these assumptions manifest because it's a doubt. You're not, you don't have conviction in it. You don't have to have conviction to manifest things, okay? But you have to create it more of a belief. We don't necessarily have conviction in everything we manifest. Um, but start to also be aware, like what are you, what are your inner conversations with yourself on any particular topic? When I try um, to a certain situation, I feel physically sick and I have to stop. stop. Why is this? Okay, let's say you're in a certain situation and you feel physically sick. Well, it has something to do with anxiety, fear, doubt, worry. Okay, so <clears throat> do you get why you might be feel that way, especially feel that way because maybe you've had situations in the past that made you feel that way? Now, every time you're in this situation, it's like you're you're holding that memory and remembering that. You're remembering that memory. Um, not only that, we have a world, if we're focusing too much on the external world, what is going on in the news and what is going on um, like in the world, the fear-based mentality. If you're, getting, if you're tapping into, if you're noticing and paying so much attention to that, that's going to, you're going to feel that and experience that in other situations in your life. What you need to do is spend more time imagining what you want. Okay, is, what's the situation you're physically sick? Let's say, um, you have to give a presentation at work and you're physically sick about that uh, because you've already, instead of thinking of your end goal of what you want, you're remembering the past and you're remembering a negative situation that's associated with it, right? And you're remembering how you feel. You need to learn how to tap more into focusing on what you want. What do you want to feel like? So you pra you can practice it in your mind. Practice in your mind at, for this example or any situation practice in your mind the way you want it to go. You could start saying, I intend to get over this. I intend to feel better. I know I am manifesting my reality and I can change anything. Okay. So in a general way, like I can do this, I can feel better. I intend to feel better. I intend to build confidence within me, like for this, whatever the situation is, but truly a lot of times it does have to do with confidence because that's the opposite of you know, the fear and the doubt and the worry would be security, confidence. So you want to start focusing on what it feels like to be secure, what it feels like to feel confident. You can even, I personally have changed my life simply by affirming it. I simply affirmed I am confident. I would affirm it with conviction. I am confident. I am secure. I have freedom. I am freedom, right? And tapping into those thoughts and ideas it didn't just happen overnight, but I started reflecting a world that was showing that I was confident or put me in a situation where I felt better. Okay. So start to picture more how you want it to end up because you're still fearing it and you're, you're remembering the old memory. 
create a new memory. You have to replace that old memory with a new thought. The new thought is, what do I want it to look like, okay? When I'm in this situation, I want it to look like this. And script it out. If you script out, whether this is with a specific person or whatever the situation, script out how you would like it to go, just like you're the director, writer of a movie. How do you want that to go? And you're the lead player. You're the lead, the, the lead in this the main character, you're the main character, and how is the situation going? So write that out, and then you want to keep imagining it. You need to read that every day, maybe twice a day or three times a day, to start to create new images in your mind of how you want it to go. You have to practice how you want it to go. When we didn't practice it, and we have all these other experiences that are negative, we're actually just reenacting um, these old experiences. Um, Andrea, how to manifest something that the one, that the one that can get it to me, <laughs> wait, how to manifest something that the one that can get it to me say I have to wait, but I want it now. Okay, so are you saying someone told you you have to wait, but you want it now? <laughs> Just start imagining you have, see the thing is you're paying too much attention to the circumstance or the physical reality or what is realistic. When we're manifesting, don't be realistic. You can't, you don't want to be. You have to go to the end and say, you know what? I want it now, I'm getting it. The people who move ahead in life, movers, movers and shakers, have made a decision, get to a conviction in their mind of what they want and they are not taking no for an answer. In your mind, think, no wait, it's not like you physically have to tell anyone, I'm not taking no for an answer. You tell it to yourself, because you're. it's you who's creating all this. So you say it to yourself, I'm not taking no for an answer. Now, out picture an image, what does it look like? You have what you want. Start practicing that you have what you want. Affirm that you have what you want. You wanna think that as your only story, okay? If half the time you're thinking, I don't know if I can get it, and then you affirm to get it, and then you wonder, I don't know if I could get it, you're not getting anywhere. You're not getting anywhere, you just focus on one story the story you want. You focus on the one story, the story you want to get what you want. In the time frame you want also, okay? Uh, yeah, team. My SP asked me if I had a shrine of her because she could feel my emotions. She's on to me. Well, you think that, okay, so how we're manifesting is also like a story. Okay, so in your mind, you probably had a, okay, so like you have a little shrine and you're like, ooh, and you're enjoying the shrine. That's perfectly fine to have it, no big deal, right? But in your mind, you probably had thoughts and doubts or worries like, oh no, what if they found out like I was, <laughs> you know, like, like really loving looking at the thinking about them and would they, what are they gonna think about me? Or ooh, what if she's on to me? So. Do you see that everything, whatever you're saying to yourself in your mind reflects back to you? That's why that happened. Here's what you need to do. So what if you have a shrine? No big deal. I'm sure all of us have had some sort of, like when people have pictures on their wall of celebrities or musicians, right, as a kid, that's almost like, that's like a shrine, right? It's not negative. Okay, don't create that it's negative. Just say, you have to not have worries and doubts and oh no, what if she's on to me? That's what, you, those, are, those are your own thoughts, okay? And you wondered, I wonder if she can feel my emotions, okay? That's what happened. So all you have to do is say, she thinks that she loves, okay, whatever you want it to be. I mean, there's infinite ways to play this out. So <laughs> she thinks um, that, like, what would she think about that? So you have to, you have to <clears throat> change the story where it reflects that she thinks that's okay. Like, no big deal. She's not on to you. No big deal. Oh, that's cute. You're so funny. You're so cute and funny. Like the things you do. I know you love me. I know you care about me. That's really adorable. Can you look at it that way? You have to have that kind of perspective if that's the result you want. Okay, it's all coming from within whatever those inner conversations and thoughts you're having in your head. <clears throat> so when you also say, I wanna, I wanna address this, because you said, because she could feel my emotions. It's not that she felt your emotions. You thought she felt your emotion and she reflects that back. You think that she feels your emotion and it's reflected back, okay? 
So you make it make a positive spin on it. She feels my emotions and she loves it. She's deeply connected to that. That's what she's into and I'm into and we love that. Like we feel like we're connected at the soul. Okay? What story do you want? Start thinking about that and then you affirm that story. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't get to this part. You said, well, I don't have a shrine, but I've been manifesting her. <laughs> okay, so either way, because in the back of your mind, you're wondering, is it okay that I'm manifesting? Yeah, sorry, I didn't see your other part. You're like, got the shrine with the candles, which is fine, okay. But the thing is, right, we have images from movies we've seen that that's such a negative circumstance. Don't create anything to be negative in your reality. So what you're manifesting? Okay, I have created where I manifested that someone in my life and he was like, and I started wondering, oh no, does he know I'm manifesting him? And, um, you know, he knows I'm into this, right? This is a couple years ago. And, and then like the next time I saw him, he goes, are you trying to manifest me? <laughs> okay, so I could be like, it all is coming from me. How do I want to play it out? I could be like, yeah, I am. And it's playful and it's fun. And he thinks it's cute and adorable. And like, yeah, I, and I could create that he think that he said, yeah, I'm manifesting you too. So why don't you create that? Oh no, she's into this and she's manifesting you and it's perfect, a perfect outcome or, you know, whatever. I'm only giving you ideas of how to have success in your manifestation. Courtney, oh, I started doing your spend 1K a day and since I've had three small lottery wins and four free tickets. Look at you, Courtney. Okay, you guys, so I was talking about, are you, you're in my um, group, yeah? I mean, I try to remember everybody in my group. Yes, yes, you are. Okay, so in, in my VIP group, I'm having workshops every day. Or, well, I, every day but Sunday. So every day, almost every day, I think I've had it since I started it two weeks ago. And I'm, I'm not just talking about manifest your specific person. Because this is a lifestyle. Style. Let it affect every area of your life and see the bigger picture. I'm talking about manifesting money, manifesting your ideal body, manifesting the ideal concept, talking about revision, everyone is yourself pushed out, mental diet. Okay, anyway, I did a, a workshop about manifesting money. Start, oh, I, I'm glad you brought that up because someone asked earlier about manifesting money. Start spending money in your mind, okay? So what I said was start to manifest today a thousand dollars. Imagine you have an extra thousand dollars. How are you going to spend that? Think about spending an extra thousand dollars. Now tomorrow when you wake up, you have two thousand dollars. You have to spend it all. What are you gonna buy? What are you gonna do with it, okay? Now, every single day, add $1,000. By the end of the month, you have $30,000, okay? Continue to do that. The idea is that you are training your mind to think that you have extra money. Money is coming to you. You have money to spend, okay? Not that you're in so much lack, okay? So, so practice spending the money in your mind. You're going to see, like Courtney, bigger, bigger, bigger things are coming for you, okay? That's cool, I love it. Thanks for sharing. Amy, I reached out after a week of no concept, because I think, Courtney, you don't have your pic, do you, you don't have your picture maybe on the, um, the group thing, so I see you now. <laughs> okay, Amy, I reached out after a week of no concept, um, no concept, um, no contact. He said I need to date other people, not heard from him again. Amy, are you new here? <laughs> There was like a TikTok. Are you new here? <laughs> okay. You're manifesting based on what you're thinking. I know we're all we're all learning. We're all learning, right? Okay. When you reach okay, it's all the story you're saying in your mind. You were probably worried. You you didn't hear you didn't hear. You're wondering what's going on. Does he like me? Does he want to be with me? Uh you know, whatever. Um is he seeing someone else? Look, these we we create assumptions on things that we're afraid of. We create assumptions. You have to discipline your mind to create assumptions. Hey, what if he? What if he's thinking about me? What if he can't wait to see me? He might have had a busy work with, a uh, busy week at work, but I know I'm a priority to him because he's really interested in me. Really likes me. That's what you need to be assuming. Okay. It doesn't even matter what all happened today. Just start affirming what you want. It can happen by tonight. It can happen by tomorrow. But don't fret about it and get worried. You keep persisting until you see the reflection, okay? And you need to persist until it truly becomes your reality. You can't waver back and forth. 
He said you need to date other people because that was probably some assumption. I wonder, were you assuming is he dating other people? Okay, maybe it was unconscious. Maybe some, we have thoughts that we don't even realize we're having. You're getting in the car, all these thoughts going on, talking to friends, telling them what's happening, I don't know. And now we're assuming the worst. And then guess what? The, the worst is ending up reflecting back, okay? Start saying this. Instead of not heard from him again, you have to create the story you want. I intend to hear from him. I intend he's thinking about me, wants to be with me. He thought about it. He doesn't want to date anyone else. Like he looked and he's like, there is nobody like you, okay? And some of this has to do with our own self-concept. So work on seeing yourself. Watch my video on YouTube. I am the prize, right? Feel that you're chosen. You're the prize. Um, you're premium. You're first class. You're, you're, you're the only choice. You're a priority. Chris, honestly getting disappointed and find this really hard. Mind feels like giving up desire. Okay, get, maybe you're trying. So when we are manifesting, supposed to feel effortless. We have been manifesting our whole life. Thank you for the roses. So we've, we've been already manifesting our entire life. Did you need to overthink these things? No, you didn't need to overthink it. Also, you didn't necessarily manifest your exact desired reality, but you probably have good thing. It's not like your, your life has probably had some good things in it, right? All you need to do, don't spend so much time affirming and spending time on this. Start, maybe you want to go general a little bit, like soften it up, soften up um, the attachment to this desire. Just say, my life's supposed to be good, right? That's a general assumption. I'm supposed to have a good life. Life gets better and better. I intend that I get what I want. I always get what I want. I intend to always get what I want. Okay, I know good things are meant to happen to me. I know I'm in the right place at the right time. I intend I'm always in the right place at the, at the right time. I intend to feel good. I intend to feel valuable. Okay, all of these things, if you could just not focus so much on that exact desire, you'll loosen the attachment you have to it and focus on the bigger picture of like living a really good life, okay? This person can, or whatever it is, right? Is it a person or whatever the manifestation is, it doesn't matter. Focus on how your world will, will look. Because as you do that, you will have more reflections of like, oh, it is good, oh, I have, you know? And then do your da daily manifestations, <clears throat> like deliberate daily manifestations where you prove to yourself on a daily basis, I am the operant power, I am manifesting. And then the, the third thing is your self-concept. Like where is your self-concept at? I started manifesting money, a friend and my sister got extra money at first, then I had $400 pop into my account. All right, that's a success, I love it. And when your friend and your sister got the extra money, the, what you wanna make sure you're doing is saying, not stopping it by saying, why did it happen to them and not me? But you say, oh yes, it's working. I was intending that money, you know, extra money, mo manifesting money. <clears throat> when your world is showing you other people have extra money, it's showing you. That's, that's a direct reflection of you. So make it mean, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> make it mean that they got the money. It's, it's, I'm next or it's definitely working, right? And then you keep persisting in you imagine receiving the money or getting whatever you want you want marriage with sp but currently no contact okay the story we tell ourselves is the story that we experience so it how many times i know you want to tell me what's happening so you can understand what what to do but think to yourself how many times have you thought to yourself I still haven't heard from them. I wonder what they're doing. What are they doing without me? Maybe not exactly like that, but like, what are they doing? Still haven't heard from them. Look at the phone. We still are looking and recognizing nothing. So that's the story you're telling yourself. It's almost like you don't realize you're doing it, but you are doing it. And that doing that is re reflecting back in your world. Take control of your world, okay? Take control of your world. You take control of your world by getting a disciplined mind, focusing on your only job is to paint the picture of what you want to experience. Don't pay attention to what you're not getting, okay? So imagine what would it be like? You are married, what does that look like? You're, what does that look like? It looks like you feel secure, 
you feel loved, you feel confident in, in relationship to this person in the relationship. If you're married, you're feeling like totally secure in the relationship, completely loved, right? You need to tap into that. You don't have to necessarily feel it, imagine it. You can you're, imprint that idea on your mind, affirm it. You could, any of those techniques work. I intend we're married. I intend SP like absolutely is head over heels for me, in love with me, tells me they are, they show me they are, and then create imaginal scenes what that looks like. And you need to do that maybe once a day or, how, you know, all that technique does not necessarily matter. If you did it once, it would work. All you need to do is do it once. You plant the seed, it's done. You just decide it's done. Even if a week passes and you didn't even think of the person, you know it's done. Okay, now is that gonna happen? Usually we think of the person. So when you think of the person later in the day, you say, oh no, it's already done. I planted, like planted the thought seed. It's a thought and it's a seed and your seed is growing. It's growing, you just can't see it. It's behind, it's, it's um, part of that fourth dimensional reality that you're trying to align with, okay? You have to have more faith in the uh, fourth dimensional reality than in your physical 3D reality. You have to remind yourself that daily. I'm going to have more faith and I'm going to have more faith. I know I can do this. I just need to, yes, it is happening. I may, I had the thought. That's what I want. I know it's happening. Then you can also say, I know it's happening because I'm awesome. I'm a great person. I'm lovable, I'm cool, I'm valuable, I'm a priority, I'm handsome, I'm pretty, like I'm the best, I'm really fun to be around, I'm charismatic, like whatever that looks like for you, start tapping into that or re not tapping in, but like you affirm it, remind yourself why. Of course they would like you. Why would you think they would, don't even like you, want to be married to you? I mean, I'm not saying you think that, but maybe you're making an assumption. When you don't have no, when you have no contact, you're making assumptions. Your assumptions are manifesting. You need to create assumptions that align with your desire, meaning paint that picture and stick with that, affirm it in your mind, affirm it until it happens.